Okay, I uh, I got this thing cut in half, and uh, I was slightly injured in the process, so I'm gonna give you guys a fair warning. And uh, I don't know why I didn't think of this. Um, uh, anyway, the the tank still had pressure in it, and I don't know why I didn't think about this. But by the time I realized it, it was too late. What I did was I slowly scored uh, this with a cutoff wheel, and then I uh, all of a sudden it, I, it started to expand. And as I seen that and started jumping back, the thing uh, blew into two pieces. It blew the top half way over there, and the bottom half landed over here. It caught my leg and uh, got me pretty good. I was. Uh, pretty tender but uh, first thing I did is uh, made sure that uh, my leg was okay and I wasn't in shock and that uh, I seen that happen to a buddy on a motorcycle accident he uh, he uh, he crashed he's missing a finger busted leg he's he's standing up and, and trying to walk on his busted leg and uh, that happened so quick I felt the pressure on my leg but I didn't see uh, I didn't see uh, any you know any blood and my leg was good so uh, after I realized my leg wasn't broke <laughs> I uh, I continued on so guys just make sure uh, safety is uh, number one uh, I made sure I had my safety glasses on but uh, wasn't even thinking about that so look at every possibility all right so with that being said let's go on with the, uh, with the project now uh, with that little mishap it did uh, uh, it did end up giving me a little bit of a, um, uh, uh, dented the canister a little bit, but I can straighten that out, no problem. Um, so anyway, when you get this cut in half, what you're going to see is, here's the diaphragm uh, I was telling you about, and it's held in by a compression ring here, and uh, I went ahead and cut that compression ring right there. Um, so we can pull that ring off. It's, see, it's, it's kind of it's a concave ring. Okay, so we pull that ring out, and the way that seals is seals on that indention that we just cut at. So we go ahead and take the rubber bladder out. We save that for another project. Um, <coughs> and now we got a plastic uh, neoprene liner, and this was uh, this is in here just to protect the the, uh, the rubber diaphragm. So there's there's one of the dents that happened, and it oblonged it a little bit, and um, there's a dent here in the bottom right there, but nothing that a ball peen and anvil won't take care of. All right, so that's that. Be safe. See you guys on the next video.